The Little Duck Fun Dash. This is a character building story about confidence. And one thing we learn about confidence is, it's the courage to try. Little Duck Fun Dash. The large poster said it in capital letters. Smuggles the dog continued reading excitedly. All young ducks enter the Agape Land Little Duck Fun Dash. Every contestant gets a prize. The winner of the race receives a wagon full of toys. Race begins at noon tomorrow in Music Machine Meadow. So don't be late. Smuggles grinned. He remembered watching the little duck dash last year, and boy, was it fun. The ducklings would waddle and waggle as fast as they could. What a time they would have running, jumping, even accidentally bumping into one another and falling over. The race started at the old tree, and the winner was the first to reach the pond on the other side of the meadow. Mom and Dad ducks stood on the sidelines, laughing and quacking their little ones onward. Smuggles chuckled, just thinking about it. At that moment, he heard a noise behind him. Smuggles turned. At first, he didn't see anything, but then some of the leaves in a bush began to move. Who's there? asked Smuggles. There was no answer. Smuggles stepped closer. Who's there in that bush? A little orange beak poked out from among the leaves, and then back inside it went. Smuggles waited for a moment. Come on out. Don't be afraid. Out came the little orange beak once again, and this time, Smuggles could see two big brown eyes peeking out of the bush. Come on out, I won't hurt your little buddy. Slowly, the branches of the bush opened, and out stepped the saddest looking little duck you ever saw. Smuggles smiled at the small duck. My name's Smuggles, what's yours? Well, let it be, said the duckling softly. Did you come to read the poster too? The little duck looked down at his feet and nodded. You gonna race in the little duck fun dash tomorrow? Weatherby shook his head again. I can't. I'd waddle as fast as I could, but I'd probably crash. Or, or I might trip o over my big wet feet and never even finish the race. You just need a little confidence. With a little practice, you look like you can run very fast. Weatherby shook his head sadly. I don't think I could ever run very fast. Smuggles looked at the little duck and smiled. You should at least give it a try. It'll be fun. Just listen to this.
now, you listen to your old buddy Smuggles. It doesn't matter if you win or not. You just need confidence to try. And when it comes to racing, I can help you. We dogs know a lot about running, you know. Weatherby looked down for a moment. I'm, I'm, I'm thinking about it, Mr. Smuggles, sir. I, I better go home now. Anyway, it, it was nice to meet you. Okay, Weatherby, but don't forget the races tomorrow. I'll be around if you decide you want to practice. Okay, Mr. Smuggles, sir. Thank you. On his way home, Weatherby was thinking about what Smuggles told him when suddenly he heard a desperate cry for help. He looked around. There was a mother mouse running towards him. Stop, stop, she squeaked. My baby, please help me, my baby, cried the mother mouse. My little Millie was climbing a tree and fell. I think her foot is broken. Weatherby quickly followed the mother mouse to where the baby was lying on the ground. Oh, what can we do, my poor little baby? Weatherby knew what to do. Quick. Let's take her to Doc Feelbetter's hospital. Weatherby carefully picked up the baby mouse and ran as fast as he could. Mother Mouse followed close behind. Quickly, they arrived at the hospital. Oh, thanks for getting baby Millie here so fast, said Doc Feelbetter. She's going to be okay. I'll fix her up and soon she'll be good as new. Mother Mouse smiled at Weatherby and thanked him. She'll need to stay here a few days, the doctor continued, so I can keep an eye on her. Weatherby looked at the little mouse. She looked very sad. What's the matter, Millie? asked Weatherby. I don't want to stay here, she said. I don't think it'll be very much fun. Don't worry, Millie, said the doctor kindly. It won't be as bad as you think. Weatherby looked over at the baby mouse and saw that she was still very sad. I wish there was something I could do to make her happy, he thought as he started to leave. Thanks again for getting her here so quickly, Weatherby, said the doctor. On the way home, Weatherby began to think. I did run quickly, didn't I? <laughs> maybe, maybe if I try, I could win the race tomorrow. And if I do win, I could give the wagon full of toys to baby Millie to play with while she gets better. Then she wouldn't be sad. Weatherby hurried off to find Smuggles. Maybe, maybe Smuggles was right after all. I should at least give it a try. M M Mr. Smuggles, sir, Mr. Smuggles, sir, I need you to help me practice. I've made up my mind. I want to be in the race tomorrow. Great, said Smuggles, but we'd better get right to work. Together, the two practiced the little duck dash course again and again. Smuggles told Weatherby all kinds of things that would help him, but mostly he told him to pay attention to his feet so they wouldn't step on each other. By the end of the day, they were both quite tired. <laughs> You're a fast little duck, said Smuggles. I think you'll do well in the big race tomorrow. <laughs> Thank you for helping me, Mr. Smuggles, sir, said Weatherby. Are you going to come tomorrow and watch? <laughs> I wouldn't miss it for anything, laughed Smuggles. The next day, all the little ducks in Agape Land lined up for the big race. Do your best, Smuggles told Weatherby. He looked and saw all the little ducks waddling around, waiting for the starter duck. Smuggles couldn't help laughing. On your mark, said the starter duck. Get set. Go! The young ducks were off and waddling. Some of them were just wobbling. But Weatherby was up in front, really moving. Go, Weatherby, go, yelled Smuggles. Weatherby ran and ran and ran. As he came around the final corner, he was in second place. Come on, Weatherby, Smuggles yelled. Weatherby ran with all his might. He passed up the duckling in front of him and crossed the finish line in first place. Smuggles ran up to Weatherby. You won, you won. All the mom and dad ducks quacked and cheered. This certainly was another successful Agape Land little duck fun dash. Thank you, Mr. Smuggles, sir, said Weatherby. You helped me have confidence to try. Right after the race, Weatherby took all the toys he won to the hospital and gave them to Millie. These are for you to play with while you get better. Thank you very much, said Millie with a great big smile on her face. 
Thank you, Weatherby, said Doc Feelbetter. I know this makes Millie very happy. Weatherby was pretty happy himself. He learned that a little confidence can make a big difference. That's right! 